Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, guess what day it is? That's right, it's Fun Knife Friday. And I got a kind of a cool Fun Knife Friday for today. I was talking with uh, Gary from The Last Ranger, and he was talking about uh, his most watched uh, video. And I said, well, that's pretty cool. I guess I should see what my most viewed video is and kind of go back over that and revisit it and and see what's going on with it, if anything has changed. And yeah, there's been some changes. And my most viewed video in my channel's history with over 3,500 views is my video on copperheads, which is fantastic because the copperhead, as you know, is one of my very favorite patterns. I mean, for me, it goes back and forth, number one and number two, whether it's a trapper or whether it's a copperhead. But I I love the copperhead knives, and we're going to go back over them. It all started with this guy here. When I first <clears throat> got back into traditionals, you know, I was looking at all the patterns and stuff, and I had been familiar with, I think Stockman's were my most familiar that and small uh you know single blade knives you know like the uh 120t uh you know the pal from uh old timer and some of the other you know small knives uh you know those were kind of like the ones that I was more familiar with and when I got back into collecting knives or when I really decided I wanted to get into the hobby in a big way uh, copperheads and canoes were what spoke to me and I had little to no experience with them at all. In fact, I had no experience with either. And so I said, well, I'm going to try these, these rough riders. And, and this was my very first, uh, copperhead was this red pick bone from, uh, rough rider. And I fell in love. This has been, uh, really one of my favorite knives. Uh, this is still one of my favorite knives. I will have this knife uh, <laughs> forever, really. Uh, but there it says the red pick bone in the uh, frosted uh, Turkish clip. But uh, I think what I like about these knives, <clears throat> and they're the same with uh, the trappers, and I happen to have a trapper, no, no uh, shock there. But if you look at, at both of the knives, they're both, you know, jack knives, and they both have, you know, two full-sized blades on them. And it's just a pattern that really, it appeals to me. Uh, when I decided to pick out the uh, copperhead, the red pick bone, the things, of, obviously the red color appealed to me and stuff, but I really liked the shield. And I can say, I honestly, I got this knife for the shield. And this is the uh, Rough Rider. It's got the cowboy in the middle holding his uh, rifle up over his head. And I, I just thought this was just like so cool. <clears throat> so we're going to set him to the side. I don't remember actually which was my next copperhead. So I guess that's kind of, uh, kind of a bad thing in a way. So I do know, I think it was soon after when they came out with their uh, copper series, uh, this one here, I just was, I thought this was an awesome thing to get a copper head in was in this, uh, this series with the copper bolsters. And you can see they've taken on a really nice, uh, patina. I love how copper and brass age. It just looks so nice. And I'm going to get some of these names of these series wrong, uh, because you know me, Sometimes I just go with an idea and I just run with it. But I've had, you know, videos about all of these. But again, just a, a really beautiful, beautiful knife. Speaking of beautiful knives, uh, one of, this is one of my wife's favorites. Is she loves how they did this uh, blue bone on uh, this copperhead. And I have to admit, I really liked it too. Now, these weren't a series <clears throat> they just, you know, came out with these kind of on their own, uh, which was nice. But you're getting the same, you know, clip and Skinner blade, but just an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous knife. And for Rough Rider prices, you know, it's just like you kind of 
can't go wrong with those at all. Uh, another one that they came out with was the uh, denim. This side has the uh, the T10 carbon, and this knife is great. It's got a nice strong pull, which actually makes me quite happy with it. Really nice walk and talk on both blades. Uh, if you like a stiffer, uh, you know, opening knife, then this is definitely one that you should look at. So then another one that I got, I got this one again for the shield. This is that acorn shield that has the uh, RR up here in the uh, top of, of the acorn. This is like just a uh, jig bone uh, that they had. And it's really another great, uh, a, another great knife, you know, same, same good stuff about it. You know, you still got your, your same blades on there, but you know, I'm really happy with the Rough Rider Copperheads. Uh, another one that I had, and this will be the last of it, is the uh, Tough Stag series, which I liked this one a lot, and I still do. And you can, I believe these had the carbon blades too. Uh, I'll have to go back and check. But uh, these are definitely, I don't know if it says it on there or not. I don't think it does. <clears throat> let's see if it if it tells me if it has uh is this 440 it sure is okay so these were in 440 but you can always go to smkw and get all the stats for all of these guys and again i like this uh shield that they have the hand built shield really nice really uh classy and i enjoyed that knife but then we look at other knives that uh, I have that are copper heads. And I have the Robert Klaus uh, knife. These class knives are, are pretty nice. No half stops on these guys. But I loved this mustard yellow uh, Delrin that they had. And just a fantastic knife. You don't see these much outside of mine in uh, Jersey Peach channel, I don't think. But uh, really uh, fine, fine knife. One that uh, definitely you should take a look at. Uh, they're just such fun knives. Of course, Case had these knives for their uh, 2021 vault pattern. So, of course, I had to get one in their yellow Delrin. And all of these are the same where you have the uh, clip and then they have this really awesome uh, pen blade on the other side. A really nice long uh, pen blade, one that you can definitely get a lot of work done with. And I just, I, I love these. I wish they've had these in the catalog all the time. I'm so happy with the, uh, with the case uh, copperheads. Of course, I have my amber peach seed uh, jigging collection going. And so this I had to get. Uh, now the case they do have, uh, this is one of their patterns that does have a half stop. So, you know, and like I said, all these two bladed, uh, models that I have, they are, uh, the same, but look at that bone. They, they do that so well. It just looks so good. And I'm just, I couldn't be happier with them. Now this is the one that I have in the, uh, Rogers jig bone. And if you look at the old video, you'll see that this is aged uh, and lightened up quite a bit from when I first got it. It was a lot darker. So the bone has changed over time. But it's like kind of like a uh, corn cob uh, pipe uh, type jigging. But it just looks so beautiful. I really like that. Uh, I really need to get some more of uh, Case's uh, Rogers jig bone. Uh, one of the viewers told me that uh, that's all he carries is he just gets the cases uh, with this uh, bone and this jig and, and that's what he carries all the time. And tell you what, I'm jealous because, you know, they are nice. But uh, anyways, the one that always seems to get a lot of uh, a lot of comments is this red one. This is a single blade, so you can see how much thinner it is than... Uh, your standard one. 
And this has got a uh, dark uh, stone wash finish on it. This is a carbon blade, the CV. Uh, it just looks beautiful and it's just really super nice. And then that brings us to not a copper head, but I'm gonna put this one almost head to head with my newest acquisition, which is my copper lock. So as you see, it has the copper head uh, bolster. <clears throat> this is the American Workman series. Uh, I love this case uh, with the American flag in the background, that is awesome. But it's also a lock back. And this particular one is also a Warncliffe which is just awesome. So if you can't get your case copper heads, which they're still out there, then I still want to get some more. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, finding them and then, you know, how much are they and stuff. But they're still out there because, uh, you know, it's not, it's just a year ago uh, that they had the, the pattern, but they have the copper lock is around all the time. And this is nice. It fits my hand perfectly. I love this Warncliffe blade. I love that it's a lockback. Uh, I'm not as much a fan of the minis. This is a full-size one. Uh, so it's going to be the, uh, you know, I, I don't think it's four and an eighth, but I could be wrong because I know that the, yeah, it is. Because they're the same. So this is going to be the same size as this Case Trapper that I had. And so they have the the minis and they have the uh, the full size. So this is the same as a full size trapper, maybe even a little more because it looks like the the ends of the uh, the caps and the the bolster stick out a little farther, which is fine. And I carry my trappers in this uh, case uh, sheath, which was in the trapper or not? Yeah, in my trapper video. Uh, and so that one you can see. That, and I, I carry them a lot, and I carry this in that too, and it fits just fine. I, I like the full-size case knives because they give you a nice, you know, handle to hold on to. But, like I said, this is not quite a copper head, but I figure since it's a copper lock, why not uh, include it in this? And this is just a, a wonderful knife. So definitely uh, check these guys out. Look for your cases from 2021. Uh, Rough Rider, still making copperheads all the time in a lot of their series, if not most of their series. Uh, love the copperheads from Rough Rider. I definitely need more of those too. And uh, don't forget other makers like uh, Robert Kloss, and I think Boker has some. Uh, Frost has a uh, locking copperhead that was on Jolly Peanuts channel that uh, I like that one. It had a, a really nice uh, green bone on it. Uh, really cool, really cool stuff. So definitely, uh, you know, get uh, get to hunting and this stuff is out there. Fantastic knives. Every, every single one of these knives is uh, just awesome. I love them all. Anyways, that's all I got for this one, guys. I will see you on Sunday during the live stream. Uh, be sure to stop by and say hi. I go live uh, around 10.30 a.m. on Sunday mornings, uh, Pacific time. So please join us. Uh, join in the uh, chat room. Let me know you're there. And, uh, you know, we just have a fun time. You know, it's, it's me and I invite some guests on. And you never know who's going to be there from week to week. I try to throw a couple new people in as I can. And we'll you know, just keep on going with, uh, with what we got going. So it's a lot of fun and people that have been on there before, you'll see them come back, uh, from time to time. Cause it's going to be kind of a rotating, uh, guest, uh, list. So it'll be, it'll be fun, but we're just going to go there and we'll talk about knives and whatever else is on your minds. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.